Okay, y'all, so I ordered two of these Wayfair pantries and I got the bright idea. No, I'll talk about that in a minute, y'all, because I'll get straight real quick. So I took it out of the box. I ordered two of them and you get two boxes for one pantry. So it was a total of four boxes. So I just opened it up. Um, I really don't feel like putting it together, but I'm ready to get my stuff in order. And I don't feel like doing nothing else. It's some other stuff I'll be working on. And I don't feel like doing it. I guess I'm just tired. I need to learn how to really stick to my time blocking. But anyway, y'all, I think I'm going to put or start putting some together and figure out what tools I need and ask Jason where is his screwdriver because sometimes he'll put it up somewhere and make sure he don't have it in the truck with him and then he's gone and I want to put it together tomorrow. So it's quite many pieces, but it looks simple. So hopefully if I can do it in a little small task, but it doesn't look as wide as I thought y'all. Cause look, I thought it was like 30 inches, but this is not even, let's see, taking up half of this table is in the middle, the middle of the table. Um, so I was hoping it was bigger than that. I should have got a yardstick and it's still big, but I just thought it would be longer than that. At least to here. I don't know. Y'all will see. I think these, this is the top and the bottom over there, the bottom to it. So anyway, I'm gonna try to put this together. Um, at least some of it. I think the first part is the drawer or is it the cabinet? The door. The doors. All right, y'all. Okay, guys. So I'm making progress. I thought I was going to stop and or get frustrated, but I didn't. I'm taking my time reading in the directions and making sure. So if you watch all the time, I said that I don't really care to put things together. And actually this is, um, yeah, fairly easy. The directions is not super clear, but it's fairly easy. You're just gonna repeat the top portion, like the bottom. I thought it was gonna be at least maybe three inches or four inches wider, but it's not, but I can get, Pretty much on here, I'm gonna read the directions. Hopefully it will tell me like how many pounds for each shelf. But I, of course, I'm not gonna put so much that is gonna bow or anything. So now I'm doing the top portion. I don't know if I put the doors on today or do the drawer, but at least I'll get the top portion and put it on there. So making progress. Mm -hmm. Okay guys, so I still have not finished this one. I don't know if I showed the update or not on this one. I can't remember. But all I have to do is take these off. I put these on wrong and turn them around. And I really don't feel like doing it. So I'm going to get Jason to do it. I'm going to ask him, can he do it for me? But I did put this together. I did mess up right here. And I flipped it. When I did the second one, I did catch it this time. Um, what it is, is down at the bottom is where the cabinet magnetic tab thing connects with the cabinet. And I somehow had it flipped like that upside down. I don't know what in the world. But the directions, they're clear, but they're not clear. And I wish they wrote them out. I know that would have took more effort, but... If you're not careful, you can flip these the wrong way. But otherwise, I mean, it's pretty pretty easy to put together. I haven't had really any, um, too much trouble other than that. But it wasn't clear of how to do the hinges. Oh, sorry, y'all. I'm watching um, Bishop Jake's um, revival this week. So today, I listened to it last night. So I'm almost finished with this one. And I can't wait to put my stuff in there. But I'll let y'all go because I don't want to turn TV off. All right, bye.
Okay, guys. So ignore my kitchen. I don't even think it's that many dishes that just look like it. Um, in the sink. And so I already have the TV may be loud because I just decided to cut the camera on before I put something else in it. So right here is one cabinet and I'm gonna put the other cabinet over there. So this is like the overflow of what was in that cabinet right here. And I first love that I had this little cover, but it's canvas and it's, I like that it hides some things if I wanna tuck in there away from them, but I don't like that I can't really see what's in there, if that makes sense, like I need some doors. Then I wanted something a little bit more sturdy. I wanted something that match. I, I just needed something else, y'all. So I haven't decided exactly what I want to do. I'm thinking about putting some of the canned meats because I have them on a smaller shelf as you go out the uh, laundry room, which I have most of our pantry stuff. Hold on, y'all. I really like this. It was fairly simple. I really took my time putting it together. So I wouldn't put something on backwards, which I did with the first one. <laughs> That's why I'm waiting for Jason to take the little things off because stuff I don't want to do, I get him to do it. I put this on backwards and he has to take it off and it's kind of a little challenging with the electric screwdriver because it's all in the way. And then this little piece right here on the other one, I put it on wrong. It's like sticking up. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I do have some pieces of magnets that I can attach it, but I'm glad I ordered these. I don't know what I was thinking why I didn't order them sooner, but I'm glad I ordered these because now I got an aha moment or I saw where Wayfair had linen closets. And so our bathroom, we need an extra storage closet. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna order another one of these or one similar to it. So this will work in our bathroom too. So even though this has the rustic um, farmhouse like feel, um, I probably eventually will paint my table for a different look, even though it does look traditional in here. Yeah. And I don't know when I'll do that, but I probably will eventually change it, change it up. Um, I don't know what kind of paint, but make it look rustic. I really don't really want to paint that yet, but it's fine. It did get wet, but it was just like one little small piece. You have to look up real close. I don't know. I think Josiah came in here one day, y'all, and had a gallon of water which was on the bottom of over here. And I set it up there just temporarily because I didn't want it on the floor. And I came in here, it's so like in the nick of time and it still it was wet, but I had to take everything out the drawers. So it warped some of the wood, but the top part is fine, it's just the drawer. Um, This over here, I got it from a friend. So I probably should have just <laughs> left it. Um, let him get rid of it, but I do like it. It does hold some things. It's like a little china cabinet. What they call them? A cherry cario cabinet. I don't even know, but I can paint that too and make it look rustic. And yeah, maybe one day get a new fixture and stuff like that. And lastly, I'll let y'all go and I'll show an after, after I fix it all up. I, I really want to get some built-ins in my pantry. I ain't gonna show y'all my pantry until I already have it finished because it looks like a hot mess. I'm looking for someone that can do maybe some wood built-ins and research like some kind of lights that I can put in there without it being wired. Not the push lights unless they're super bright, but something. And I just have like so many, and I don't wanna get rid of them y'all, so many like, you know, my big pots, like my Dutch oven and my little, what's it called? Gadgets and stuff that I have them like on the top shelf and I have them on the bottom two shelves. And I just, it's like I need to have maybe a whole closet of gadgets. I need a walk-in pantry. That's what I need. And <laughs> I need two, I need maybe that whole closet, the whole pantry, the main pantry in there to be all maybe 
not gadgets, but like my pots and pans and entertaining stuff. And then food just in these two pantries here and here. But I don't know if all this food will fit in there, if that makes sense. I know some of this probably will fit in the laundry room. I just have to play around with it. I think it will probably would, y'all. It probably would. Anyway, I'm going to let y'all go. And I'm going to show... I will show, I <laughs> promise I will show what it looks like. And I haven't forgot about our room either. All right, y'all, bye. Okay, guys, so both of them are done, 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 done. I got Jason to fix my mistakes with this one. I just had the door hinge flipped and then I put the wrong door closure magnet upside down so then the screws you know how you have little already starter holes? I couldn't get it in, but he got it in for me. So that works. So I think what I'm going to do, y'all, I think what I'm going to do, and I'm so dying and itching to do this, but I got to, I got to, I got to do some other things and I can't let my stuff just sit here. I got to do some other things. So what I do is I promise myself, okay, I hope if you do this, then you can do something else. So I'm, what I'm going to do. I thought about it last night and this is going to work. I think it's going to work. I hope, I'm going to pray it's going to work. I'm going to move my regular pantry in here. And I'm going to go ahead and show y'all because I'm going to fix it. Because I don't like showing y'all because I'm going to fix it. <laughs> I'm going to move my regular pantry stuff in here. And I think that I have enough space for this stuff already in my laundry room with a and boxes some of the boxes may stay in here and then my regular pantry i want to fill this up i actually wanted to put some snacks in here and i wanted to put the drinks but the drinks will probably make the shelves too heavy so i gonna have to figure out something else with that i don't know what but figure something else with that and then of course you guys this is the same i don't know why i didn't think about this earlier and then, um, the shelves seem like they're really sturdy. I need to put the other shelf in. Jason didn't put that in. And I'll push that back. But let me just show y'all. So, y'all seen my pantry many times. I done did a pantry redo several times. Look at this, y'all. I cannot find what I need, what I'm looking for, and they don't even bother. <laughs> so I know if they don't bother, and I don't wanna be bothered that they're not gonna come in here and look for anything. So what I'm gonna do, I think it's time for me to let go of some of that oil that I use to cook something with. All of my, my gadgets, I use them, the Kasori, like an Instapot. Like, I want to put all my gadgets or stuff like this, bread machine, on the shelves. That's what I'm going to do. My Nutribullet on the shelves. And I'm going to go and filter through this food. And I want a space for, y'all know I have home entertaining stuff. Like, I can't really walk in here because this stuff is here. I usually clean it up or something. Um, Let's see my Ziploc bags. Like, I just don't want it just stuffed in there. I want to be able to grab it. And as much as I cook, y'all, and I knew this, if you get a house and you know what you do, you know if you got a bunch of clothes, even though you probably need to purge them. If you know, or you like to work out and you want a garage and you don't have a garage, and I know you may have to wait and have a starter home, but if you, certain things that you know that you want, get it don't let that realtor talk you into something because y'all know i'm big on food i always been big on food and having extra food even when i was in the other house when we were renting the other house and i wanted a walk-in pantry in another model home and some other things i could have deal without but it's like 10 years later and i still need that walk-in pantry 
I mean, this still is bigger than most houses. It's bigger than where I came from, where I came from. I had we had an apartment where we didn't have any pantry and I had to just use my cabinets and I have very little. I can make it work. It's just the fact that if you're buying something and you know you probably won't go anywhere else, you know, this is from the young people or even if you haven't even bought your house yet. Just um if it's something that you know you desire and it's a big thing to you don't compromise and get let that realtor talk you into something just like i thank god for this counter over here but it holds a lot of stuff but i'm grateful because who would have thought i'd be hauling on the counter but um some things you just already know yourself from the get-go just don't let the realtor talk you into it that's all if it's for the positive sorry to go off on that rant y'all but it's the truth it is the truth because I want some, I'm gonna get some built in shelves and then I want to get some lighting in here. And yeah. So if you're a big cooker or you have a big family, get what you need to get at the time. So I'm gonna see y'all, I'm gonna go through that stuff and I can't keep this on my table um, days in and days out. So I'm just gonna do a little bit at a time and I don't necessarily want these handy can goods on my shelves and making them bow or anything. So I'm gonna see what will fit in the um, laundry room. I don't know if like the snacks are going to work either in here cause they might just come and go ham. So, all right y'all stay tuned.